Questions continue to swirl in Hoosick Falls, where the people there have been dealing with a water crisis now after high levels of a dangerous chemical called PFOA were found in the municipal water supply. Tonight, the president and CEO of the company at the center of all of this sat down with our Kimberly Howard. She's with us in studio now. What did he have to say, Kimberly? Liz, he says Friday number one is to clean up the water in the village. And now that the state has stepped in, he says an investigation can begin into how this happened and how deep this issue really runs. So we take powder, we press them into this, these big logs. Tom Kaninsky is president and CEO of St. Cobain Performance Plastics, the company at the center of what's become a water crisis in Hoosick Falls. Just last week, their McCaffrey Street plant was named a state Superfund site. What that actually enables us to do is to really start the investigation, and that's important. Kaninsky says they knew that PFOA had seeped into the water supply more than a year before the EPA told people not to drink from the tap. He says it wasn't clear how dangerous the situation really was and still isn't. It's a complex issue. Let's keep in mind that uh, there was no standard, no, no, uh, no final standard. It was provisional. Uh, it's not an easy um, material to measure at these levels. And, I, and, it, and it takes time and effort to do those things. The company is now paying for all the bottled water people need. It's also paying for the village's new water filtration systems as the investigation into how this all happened continues. Let's learn more about how this material got into the, uh, the wells. Let's see if we can figure out exactly that source of contamination. Let's identify the pathway. Uh, let's remediate it. And, uh, and then look at what those health effects might be. Meanwhile, concerns are mounting. Can you flush it out of your system? Velma Brown and her husband James live just blocks away from the Liberty Street plant. We smell the fumes, the noise pollution, and the air pollution. The couple stop by the armory to sign up for a blood test, but they wonder. I learned my levels and stuff, but then, then, then what do I do? Now, the Department of Health is going to be on hand at the Armory in Hoosick Falls every Tuesday and Thursday from 2 until 8 p.m. They'll also be there on Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. They want people in the area with private wells to sign up to have them tested. They also want people to sign up for those blood tests, which they hope to start mid-month. Liz?